look, having Edward Teller go to bat for you is not, yeah, that, yeah. not a bad thing. It's not bad at all. Mm-hmm. Someone slid into the DMs uh, on TikTok, and they mentioned the recent passing of a physicist, Chen Ning Yong. Yep. And people are saying he's one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century. Uh, he's forged in war, actually, like, during the Japanese invasion of um, Kunming in 1937, he gets on one of these liberty boats from China to the U.S. He goes to Colombia in search of Fermi, but secretaries don't know who Fermi is. At the time, he was never in Colombia because he was doing classified research for the government for the Manhattan Project. Right. But, I mean, come on, you don't know who Fermi yeah. is. Anyways, all right, fine. Uh, and then he got word that Fermi was actually um, permanently going to Chicago. So he applies there to the Chicago school under the guidance of these giants, Enrico Fermi, Edward Teller, um, the villain of the Oppenheimer oh, movie. movie. Um, he actually got his PhD under Edward Teller. Okay. Oh, very nice. He, he wanted to at first get his PhD under Enrico Fermi, but Fermi had gone to Argonne National Lab again for classified research. Yes. Right. So he goes to Teller. Teller gave, gives him problems. These are problems that aren't really interesting to Young. Right, so Young, Young's trying, couldn't solve them. He's like, okay, maybe I'll try my hand at experimental physics. Fails miserably, like every <laughs> theoretical physicist who does, tries. who tries to go into the lab. Just has no idea what he's doing. You know, the graduate students would like literally laugh at him, but they were like also best friends with him because he would solve their theoretical problems. Right, 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 right. right? right, right but right. but he was just hopeless in the lab. In the lab, right. So he, he's there for three and a half years, just doing nonsense, breaking shit, and um, he publishes independently some papers about the symmetry groups and group theory mm-hmm. and how that can be applied to. Um, nuclear fission and nuclear decay. Mm-hmm. Okay, this catches the eye of Teller again. At this point, he's kind of you know famous in the University of Chicago because there's not a lot of Chinese students. Not not like nowadays when there's so many Chinese students in American universities. Back then, there's few and far bit far in between. Uh, so Teller comes up to him and he's like, so, you know, I liked your paper. Okay. If you want to submit that as part of your thesis, I'll be your advisor. Just like make it a little bit longer. <laughs> You know, I can't be like, I can't submit like a three page paper as your thesis. He comes back with a little bit longer paper. Teller's like, this isn't long enough. Like, I, I was meaning like substantially <laughs> longer. longer. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be like, yeah. so, so, so Young goes back, comes back with a longer paper and Teller's like, all right, this is fine. Actually at a, at a later celebration of Young's birthday, Teller went up to speak and he talked about how the third submission that Young had of his paper was still too short. But he was just like, this is hopeless. Like, <laughs> this guy's clearly a very good physicist. Let's just, let's, let's just, just, let's just, let's just, I'm go just going to talk to his, I'll, I'll go to bat for him. You know, like yeah. it's. Like-